Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for around the 21st? Strength reversed. Hmm. Fear. Lack of confidence. Uh, seven of Cups reversed. Seeing clearly that some sort of clarity coming out of confusion. There's been some confusion. This is coming out of confusion. The Strength card reversed is vulnerable, weak. Uh, feeling inadequate. Somebody may feel inadequate, um, but they see something clearly. Hmm, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is deception. Hmm. Spying. Spying. Somebody may be spying. They're up to no good. Ah, this is taking a new approach as well. Taking a risk. Now I got two sevens here, which is interesting. This is seeing something very, very clearly looking back. Somebody is looking back and they are seeing something, something that they forgot. They may be trying to get away, but they forgot something. It's like they got to go back or they want to go back because there's something that they forgot. So somebody is is looking back at something that they forgot. Now this is like clarity. It's coming out of confusion. But that strength card reverse, this is enjoying control. Now, I'm, I'm not sure what is going on with that strength card reverse because it could mean so many things. What? Let me just zoom it in. What is this strength card reversed? Chariot reversed. Lack of mental strength. Somebody is unstable. They are lacking willpower, lacking discipline, cannot master their emotions. Or maybe they are. Maybe they're hiding their feelings or something like that. But this chariot reversed is uh, emotions all over the place. Somebody's emotions are all over the place. I don't know. We need to get done with this shit. You know what I mean? The emotions being all over the place. There's This is definitely a very emotional time. Unable to keep it under control. You know? Somebody is unable to keep their emotions under control. It's, you know, that's what we got here. They're, this is an emotional outburst. Okay? Um, lack of direction. Feeling scattered. Uh, unable to control. Unable, somebody is unable to control their emotions. Uh, there's, there's, they're looking at another option and I feel like, uh, there was, there's been some sort of confusion, right? Or there's been some sort of fantasy, but now they see something more clearly and that's what is affecting their emotions. The seven of, sorry, I am pu pushing it on my chest. Seven of swords, that is, uh, looking, you can see that he's looking back. Somebody is looking back at something, you know, I gotta, I left something there, I gotta go back, you know, or they are coming back because they gotta go get what they left, or whatever the case is. Somebody's lying as well, they're not telling the truth, okay? Um, somebody may be running away, they're running away from, uh, something. Their emotions by the looks of things. Ooh, nine of pentacles reverse. Let me get one more card. Oh my god. Wheel of fortune reverse. So somebody is losing something very valuable. They are they're losing a something extremely valuable because they're not able to master their emotions this is a step back somebody is is this is like destiny somebody is clinging to control which is very evident here but really they're out of control um they're trying to keep it under control but i don't think they're doing a very good job of keeping it under control maybe they are maybe they are somebody is definitely going to be making a choice they may become clear of a choice 
Uh, the Nine of Pentacles reverse is a need for discipline. We definitely discipline, discipline, discipline. Somebody really needs to have discipline here. Definitely, they need to. They need to have discipline to not deceive themselves and not be in fantasy and to be in a reality. Okay, so that's something we all need to have discipline with, and it's very clear here. This is a need for discipline. Um, this is a horrendous loss. It is the wheel of fortune reverse is a horrendous loss it is a it's a setback something not working out this is somebody's past mistakes coming back to haunt them this is like negative repat negative repetitive patterns repeating themselves over and over and over again we have this person right here that doesn't know their value that um may lack self-worth or something like that that is repeating you know, is repeating some sort of cycle. Somebody is repeating a cycle. And it does have to do with a lack of discipline and willpower to uh, change direction. Somebody just doesn't, they don't want to change directions. But it's time, okay, it's time to change directions. It's time to go down a new path. But we have somebody here that is lying to themselves. They're cheating themselves of, you know, happiness or stability or security or whatever it is. They're cheating themselves of the ultimate reward because this is the wheel of fortune. Okay, this is a reward that is coming or would be coming. It's not coming because somebody's got their foot in the wheel. Somebody is stopping it from coming. You know, they're stopping the their fortune from coming because they don't know their value. They're not putting in much effort. They're they keep on looking back at something. Somebody keeps on looking back. They well, maybe they're looking back at the past. I don't know. You need to find your willpower and a discipline to not look back at the past. Okay, so the chariot reverse, that is stop. It is stop, stop. Control yourself, control your emotions. Stop looking back. <laughs> oh God, okay. So the seven of cups reverse, become clear of what you want. That is become clear. Now this is clarity, okay. Somebody is, is or has gotten the clarity that they need. They will be getting it if they haven't gotten it yet. This is a clearly, clearly it's time. It's time to work on yourself. Somebody, this is about taking action. Somebody needs to take action. In what, what, in what way? Ace of Swords reverse. Accept the truth. Somebody is not accepting the truth. They need to accept the truth. You know, they need to honor themselves, and they're not—they're not really doing it. Somebody's definitely being dishonest. But the Ace of Swords reverse—that's dishonesty. Loss of power. No communication. Stop going back, whatever that means. Something is coming back around with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. There's an obstacle that is being removed and it was fear. There's lies. Somebody has been lying. They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. It's almost like they want to go back, but they're fearful. There's fear. There is definitely fear here. There's fear. There's lack of courage. There's a need, a wanting to be in control. There's uh, self-deception as well. This is self-deception. We have some, somebody's lying to themselves about what they clearly want. Oh my God. The chariot reversed. Now there could be some anger. There's, and when you don't honor yourself, peep, that's when things happen. That's when outbursts happen. So somebody may be having an emotional outburst in the near future. Um, it's because they're lying to themselves. They're lying to themselves about what they really want. And, you know, I don't know why people do that shit. Anyhow, this is removing an obstacle of fear. 
Somebody's been trapped in mental turmoil. May have something to do with prison. I don't know. It could be a mental prison. They've been refusing to see, refusing to acknowledge, living in some sort of illusion or fantasy or whatever. Not being honest, not speaking the truth, uh, staying put in a situation that is safe but not good. Okay, it's safe but it's not not good at all. Um, there's probably been cheating and lying and somebody is. Somebody's been cheating in the situation or lying or deceiving. Um, <clears throat> moon all is not as it seems somebody is definitely hiding something hiding their feelings it's all an illusion so somebody is hiding their feelings they're not really communicating the truth um but this is this is uh the moon this is this is something that is about to resurface something is resurfacing Okay, uh, you need to proceed with caution. There's unseen pri unseen problems ahead. Somebody's definitely, definitely lying. They are lying. They're lying about their feelings. And there's some hidden forces here. There's hidden forces that is trying to guide somebody to, you know, let go of their insecurities and accept change. But this, we have somebody that is cheating. It's almost like they're trying to, uh, well, it's self-deception. Running away, running away from their feelings. Hmm. Somebody may be acting without a conscience as well. You know, they're, they don't have any moral conscience, you know. Uh, they're not, they're definitely not, uh, or they may be masking their feelings with addictions or who knows what. Seven, or six of wands reversed. Now this is a loss. This is a loss. We have an individual here that lacks confidence, that isn't progressing in the right manner. This is a uh, very prideful, smug, cocky individual that has a, a fragile ego. This person's ego is fragile. They may be getting some bad news or they have gotten some bad news. This person uh, follows the pack, you know, doesn't take the leadership role. Um, there could be some sort of disgrace or embarrassment or worried about embarrassment. Um, that is a, that is a, that's like in the middle of a battle still fighting, fighting, fighting their emotions. Somebody is fighting their desires. They are. They absolutely are. They're cheating themselves. They're cheating themselves of happiness. That's sad. Anyhow, the Six of Wands reversed is uh, definitely not going in the right direction. We definitely have a setback here. We have a setback. This is this is somebody that is not going in the right direction. It's like they're stopping their reward. They're stopping their fortune. You know, they're 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 delaying it. They're delaying their success. Because they don't have the strength and the mental willpower to open their eyes and stop lying to themselves. Somebody's freaking lying to themselves. They're in denial. Um, <laughs> Six of Wands reversed. Now that is, we have loss all over in this reading. We do. We have loss. It's, it's, it's a huge loss. Huge, huge loss. All is it not as not as not as it seems. Something is off. Something is definitely off. We have somebody here that is definitely lying. They're lying about their victory. They're lying about their success. Six of Wands reverse. That's that's not successful. I'll show. Knight of Swords reversed. Now the Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that is a know-it-all. This person is. Oh, I don't know. I feel like we have out of control here. Out of control. Out of control. Out of control. Somebody is about to lose control. 
Now there's, they, you know, I'm not sure if there's, there, well, the, some, there's somebody's coming back. Somebody is coming back. I don't know what they're coming back for, but they're losing their ability to control their emotions. They can't control their emotions. And I feel like they're, they may be self-medicating. They may, I don't know if they're doing drugs or alcohol or whatever. They're coming back. They're on some sort of mission. This person is very, very sneaky. Knight of Swords reverse. This is a uh, dangerous situation. It is dangerous. I feel like it is. I think it is dangerous. It's almost like, uh, yeah, it is. It's dangerous. Somebody is seeing clearly what they want to do, but they haven't been able to take action because of fear. But it feels like they get some sort of clarity and they let go of the fear. Okay, it's it is. It's like they just in the in something. It's like they, there's like a this is disaster, or you know they're fearful of disaster, and that's why they haven't taken action. But anyhow, there is some sort of uh, taking a risk. I think that we do have somebody that is about to take a risk. Um, mm. Page of Pentacles. This is somebody who is very weary. Take a look at that. Somebody is very weary. weary. They're weary, but I feel like they're they're going to extend some sort of offer or helping hand or I don't know if it's an apology or what this is. The Page of Pentacles is somebody that finds the moral backbone to start over. This is somebody who says, "I know I got to do this. I'm good. I'm willing. I'm willing to do whatever it takes." Okay, so somebody is, is, uh, this is somebody that is willing to start fresh, you know, put in the effort, do it, learn new things, start over. This is a new opportunity, right? It's a new opportunity for success, but it's not going to be easy because it's not easy. This is, this is a new enterprise. It's laying a new foundation. It is. Uh, determined, somebody that is determined to uh, go down that path that they really, it looks, if you take a look at this person's face, they're really not too, you know, not kind of worried about this, but I guess I'll, you know, that kind of thing. So I feel like we, we have somebody here that is, is going to find their backbone per se, right? They're going to find their backbone to take charge of a situation. Um, you know, accept responsibility, perhaps. I feel like we have somebody that is, you know, willing. They're willing to, it's like when they find the moment. This person, this person uh, decides, I got to do the right thing. I got I to gotta do the right thing and step outside of my comfort zone and go down this path. So somebody is going to be going down a new path, okay? It is fearful. I think it's an unclear path, right? It's a very unclear, yes? It's scary. It is definitely scary. It is scary. I feel like there's no hurry. I feel like there's no hurry. It takes time. It takes time to build a foundation. So I think there's an opportunity to start fresh with communication and taking, taking your time. Um, I do feel like we have somebody here that cannot master their emotions. You know, they can't hold back their feelings. I guess knee's coming. I can try and hold it back. <laughs> Excuse me. If I would have hit stop, I would have had to edit the video. It would have took an extra hour. So, anyhow. Um, so, yeah, this is like emotional chaos, per se. Somebody cannot bury they're trying to bury their feelings below the surface but that doesn't work it doesn't work okay you can't you can only do that for so long before you explode and it's like an explosion it is like an explosion it's like an explosion of feelings so um i do feel like we have somebody that is coming back they're coming back they're coming back around they got they they want to give this, I don't know what the heck that is, that page of pentacles is like an apology or a try or I'm willing, I'm willing to, I'll take the offer, I'll take it, you know what I mean, that's like a, a new job, a new path, a new opportunity, 
I'll do it. I'll do it. You know, whatever it is, it's it's a new opportunity for something solid. It can grow into long term success. That is that's the Ace of Pentacles right there. That is a golden opportunity. I'll take it, even though I'm scared. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to take an opportunity that they may have rejected because of fear, you know, or, or whatever. And I feel like there's going to be. Uh, Somebody's going to see clearly that this is the opportunity because this is seeing clearly, clearly that this is the opportunity, but there is still an, there's still fear. There's still fear. There's, there's, it's unclear what the, what the, or maybe they were unclear, you know, and that's why they didn't, weren't making progress. Maybe they get the clarity that, that, uh, helps them to see something. Let's get another card. happiness extreme happiness this is a breakthrough this is a new beginning so we definitely have a new beginning here this is a bright new beginning this is beautiful this is a yes okay both of these cards is a yes yes i'll take it yes i want it this is being accepted this is a new day this is a breakthrough this is a uh healing energy So we definitely do have a new beginning here because somebody is reluctantly <laughs> going to go down a path that they are very scared to go down. They're going to accept. They're going to, ex this is acceptance. It's like, I'm going to accept the, they're going to accept an offer, you know, or an invite or, you know, something like that. But there's a lot of fear here. Somebody has been fighting their feelings or fighting their emotions or fighting the change, you know fighting fighting it but i feel like they can't fight it it's like almost like i can't fight this feeling so yeah i think that this is going to be happy acceptance somebody is going to be accepting something um and it does lead to long-term stability it leads to a lot of happiness extreme happiness this is also free to free freedom 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 to to do it freedom to go down that path so somebody is is free they're free to they feel free they feel at peace they feel warm all over once they accept it's like oh relief i i feel relief but fear i do still see fear you know it's kind of like i guess so i guess so i guess so you know i guess so i guess so <laughs> that kind of thing um letting go of fear Anyhow, I think it starts out with emotional overload and it ends with, yes, I want to. Yes, I want it. Yes, I'll do it. Whatever that means to you. Good luck.